So Phil Robertson recently got off suspension from A&E and will be continuing his show with his family, Duck Dynasty, on the network. Uh, Phil Robertson was originally suspended, for those of you who haven't been keeping up. He was suspended for saying some pretty controversial things in interviews, which then um, got people looking into it, actually looking into Phil Robertson and figuring out that he said a lot worse in a couple of clips that were made viral. He gave them over to shameful lust. Women exchanged natural relations and were in playing with lust for one another. And the men were in playing with lust with each other. Women with women, men with men. They committed indecent acts with one another. And they received in themselves the due penalty for their perversions. They're full of murder, envy, strife, and <laughs> hatred. They are insolent, arrogant, God-haters. They are heartless. They are faithless. They are senseless. They are ruthless. They invent ways of doing evil. Uh, for context, here are the quotes from the GQ interviews. It seems like, to me, a vagina, as a man, would be more desirable than a man's anus. That's just me. I'm just thinking, there's more there. She's got more to offer. I mean, come on, dudes. You know what I'm saying? But hey, sin. It's not logical, my man. It's just not logical. Now, I can see how this quote would be really offensive to a lot of people. But really... All it shows is that he doesn't really understand what homosexuality is. He seems to be under the impression that it's a choice. It's not. I mean, Phil Robertson, when in your life did you say, you know what, I'm going to be straight. I could go for a guy's ass, but you know, I'm just going to go for women. Never in your life did you make that conscious decision. Another quote that got him into hot water was... Um, in reference to civil rights and saying that black people were happier before they got their rights. Try and figure that one out. Here's the quote. I never, with my eyes, saw the mistreatment of any black person. Robertson is quoted in GQ. Not once. Where we lived with all farmers. The blacks worked for the farmers. I hoed cotton with them. I'm with the blacks because we're white trash. We're going across the field, they're singing and happy. I never heard one of them, one black person, say, I tell you what, these doggone white people. Not a word. Pre-entitlement, pre-welfare, you say, were they happy? They were godly. They were happy, no one was singing the blues. <laughs> now in this quote, he seems to be under the impression that because the black people in his immediate area that he knew were happy, that every black person was happy not having rights. If that were the case, there wouldn't have been a civil rights movement. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe we're still putting up with this. It's just about 2014, man. Come on. Now, he was suspended for, um, for these quotes, and a lot of people were speculating that they would cancel the show because of it. You know, A&E wouldn't want some kind of homophobic, possibly racist idiot on their TV show. Well, he got off suspension, and they're going to continue with their, uh, I believe it's their sixth season? Um, as much as I really do not like this man or his views, the decision they made was not likely based on ethics. The decision they made was based purely on business practice and profits. They figured they would probably lose a lot more money and lose a huge audience if they canceled the show. So it was in their, their best interest to keep him on. I mean, I don't like the fact that this guy has such a big following and therefore has such an influence, but I 
I can't bring myself to be mad at the um, at the people at A and E for this. As much as I hate to say it, business wise, that was probably the best move they could have made. As sick to my stomach as it makes me. I don't know. That was just my thoughts on it. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that. Leave a video resp Well, do we even have video responses anymore? Respond in some fashion. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And to address the people that were so against his initial suspension, when you are being interviewed by a magazine as the star of a show, you represent yourself the show, and the network. The network you signed a contract with. If you say anything to make them look bad, they are within their rights to fire your ass. Just saying. You start hurting their profits, you get the boot. That's all I can say.